Hey, it's Max. Uh, I'm gonna tell you some drills for your for your footwork, for your legs. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All you really need is a bench and a racket and you're gonna do a crap ton of reps. So this is gonna burn by the end, but it's good because uh, you're working on stability, balance, strength at the same time. And uh, you're reinforcing the basis to your footwork basically. So the first one we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna do 10 reps for the forehand, 10 reps for the backhand. And really what we're doing is uh, we're working on your open stance, which I think is the most important part of stance in all of men's tennis, because when you're hitting and you're hitting a lot on the run and you're hitting there, open stance allows you to recover fast. Or well, if you play a little closer, a little more neutral, you hit, but then you're out of position and then it's a lot harder to recover. While the other one on the run, boom, you hit, recover, or you can go uh, around the ball, open stance, boom, recover but it's very easy to recover. So yeah, uh, first what you're gonna do is put your right leg on the bench, put a little diagonal aiming, let's say there's a straight line here and a straight line here, you're aiming 45 degrees over there. You're just setting up your forehand, you're loading and you're exploding. You're loading all of the weight, all of the power here. You're getting ready and that's all you're doing. You're doing that 10 times on the forehand side. After that, you're going on the backhand side. Same thing, left leg. You're loading up, backhand, put all your weight here, all your power there. <clears throat> Same thing. <clears throat> <clears throat> 10 times on each side. Really what you're doing here is you're getting used to load on this leg for the forehand, load on this leg for your backhand, and then the rest is gonna come naturally. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to work on your explosiveness. This is going to help you a lot on your serve especially. But again, it's working on your strength. It's working on your ankle stability here that I'm going to explain in a second. And your overall balance because you're on one leg. The reason I say ankle stability is because when you're on one leg and you're over here, if your, legs, if your ankle's wobbling and stuff, you're going to fall. But you need to make sure this is stable. So this doesn't move. All of this, it's a rock. You're getting the power from here. So you're bursting up. And then when you come down, you're neutralizing with all these little small muscles. So you're working all the muscles over here. You're working the muscles over here. You're working your muscles over here. Balance on your entire legs. And this strength explosiveness. That's, uh, again, this is the basis of tennis. That's why you see all these tennis players with the big legs and you see them with the skinny arms because this is what it's all about. So what you're going to do is right leg, opposite side with your arms. 10 reps, up, explosive, up, explosive up explosive and then you're going to switch to the left leg same thing same thing with this leg see it's a little harder for me so i have more trouble on my backhand it's the same thing 10 10 that's all you need after that you're doing the same thing but now you're going on the side same exact thing same exact reason you're just working on different balances from different positions you're going on the side 10 on the right leg 10 all the way up explode and the same thing on the left leg same thing left leg explode explode and yeah and the final one that's a little bonus it's a lot harder i recommend you uh do it last out of everything once you get the hang of of being able to balance on one leg being able to control your your balance there and your stability on your leg but uh i like to do this a lot because it helps you a lot on your volleys but really what you're going to do is diagonal there kind of like when you're volleying because when you're volleying you know you split, you open up, and you go in. And it's the same thing with the left leg. You split, you open up, and you get in. So here what you're doing is you're pretending you're already split step. You're opening up, and then you're going volley, volley, volley. So really what it's teaching you is to be stable with this leg. So next time you're volleying and you're going, you have stability, you have balance, and then bah, you can time it properly. And it's the same thing on the left leg. Same exact thing. Left leg, diagonal, loading up on this leg. Volley. 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 Now usually, all you have to do is all those exercises I just said. Do them 10 times for five reps if you can at the start. And what I like to do to mix it a little more and uh, not just harden the muscle and to keep loose and relax is uh, I like to do that and then I like to go for, for a run. Usually, I do something like one kilometer, that's a little much, but uh, if you want to start much less, you can do 200 meters, 100 meters, whatever, you can jog, you can run, you can sprint, whatever you want. But you do that, uh, you do all the exercises I just mentioned uh, 
10 reps, five sets. After you do one of each, you run, come back, 10 more of each, run, come back, 10 more of each, five times. And I mean, that's really crucial in getting good legs, working on your stability, working on, on being able to hit on the run because to be honest, everyone in tennis, everyone in men's tennis can hit the ball if you give it to your hands. If you give me the ball right here, over there, I'm just gonna go, boom, I'm gonna hit a winner. Boom, hit my, even if I don't hit winner, I'm gonna hit my spot, I'm gonna make you very uncomfortable. But when I'm on the run and I'm forced to being moved and stuff, that's a lot more challenging. And yeah.